What's the good word, y'all? Welcome to New York Jets Syndicate channel. It's your boy DKB here. So let's wrap for a minute. There was, it should be insignificant news, but it is much bigger than I think a lot of people think. The New York Jets are trying out a punter. That punter happens to be the Bills' former punter, Matt Ariza. Now, this was the kid that um, ended up being cut from the Bills because there was uh, a claim, a report, um, whatever the case, but a legal uh, claim out there that he was involved in the rape of a 17-year-old girl, I believe, with two other former teammates. Um, and we know now, at least from a criminal perspective, um, they went in, investigated. They said that Ariza um, potentially left the party earlier than what would have been, um, uh, then I guess what, he left the party early enough to not you know, be involved in the crimes that were, um, you know, levied against him. Also, there were a couple different videos and screenshots or different things of that nature um, where he wasn't present in any of them. Also backing up the claim that he may have left early enough and also wasn't present in, um, you know, this rape or alleged rape anyways of the 17 year old girl. So that in and of its own should be enough, right? Uh, we won't get super crazy into this, but um, you know, these rape accusations, they really only go one way. The victim, um, always of course is going to be, you know, uh, a victim They're they're suffering. There's a lot of mental and physical agony and things that they're going to go through. You take a look at the, uh, you know, the criminal in that case and, for Matt Arizo, who was waived of, you know, any wrongdoing, essentially, or not found to have been involved in any of this uh, particular, you know, issues, it's interesting that the New York Jets would go this route. Um, you want to talk about character and, you know, the type of people that we're bringing in. He's waived. So, you know, I, I can't imagine it's not too hard this, this day and age to try to go out there and prove something with DNA testing, uh, all of the video and surveillance and, you know, crazy stuff that goes on these days. Um, I'm sure there's still some people that will get off the hook, but I can't help but think this is one of those situations that the New York Jets should have avoided, right? You're not necessarily talking about a guy that's top tier in the league at his position, even though it's a punter spot or anything like that. His um, you know, biggest claim to fame so far, I think, was a, a preseason game where he kicked a punt 82 yards. Um, very impressive and all that good stuff. But this is one of those things from an optical, political perspective, the New York Jets really could have done without. We have Thomas Morstead in the building. He could probably play another two, three years, maybe longer if he really wanted to. Um, but if you want to try to have one of those younger guys in the pipeline um, to eventually become his successor, I don't think this was the right way to go about it. And, you know, to kind of think about both sides from Matt Ariza's perspective, uh, and this is his first tryout since all of this uh, occurred, by the way, I uh, understand the fact that, you know, if you're waived, you don't want this lingering around and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, being falsely accused or at least accused and, you know, uh, maybe the girl was misinformed or whatever. It's a very traumatic experience. I'm sure this happened, you know, from what I understand, maybe a year or two ago, something like that. Not sure of all the details. Kind of hate seeing these stories and diving into it. But uh, the whole purpose of this essentially is that this just seemed like one of those things that are going to bring a lot of uh, uh, unnecessary attention uh, and pressure to the New York Jets, especially if he comes out here and gets a signing. There's been a huge uproar just over the fact that he got a tryout with this and um, the man hasn't even gotten a contract. So I can see if we offered him something, try to keep him to stick around on the practice squad, anything like that. Um, this could definitely become much bigger of a, a, a snowball than really all of us are expecting. So, you know, to kind of play it down the middle from Matt Ariza's uh, perspective, if he truly is innocent, you know, I hope he can find work, do whatever he needs to do to try to piece his life back together um, and have some kind of successful career in whatever it is he's going to do, NFL or otherwise. If he was truly, um, you know, involved in that particular crime, um, this is one of those things the NFL needs to take a very, very strong stand against. Um, we failed in the past with things like the Ray Rice incidents uh, and, you know, how we've treated women as a whole um, in regards to how, uh, you know, some of the crimes NFL players have committed against them. So 
all in all, this doesn't need to be a political video. I just think that this was not a great move for the New York Jets whatsoever, especially at a position that, to be honest, is very, very important for us. But not a lot of people are, you know, caring about who your punter is until you have a situation like this, which isn't tied to football in any particular way um, when it comes to the on-field product. So um, I don't even have a share your thoughts on this type situation. Um, again, wish Matt Rise of the best luck. Um, but I hope the New York Jets end up doing the workout. We walk away from this one and we let someone else take the uh, the opportunity to pick him up or whatever it is that the NFL as a whole is going to decide on. But I don't know. Let the powers that be make the smartest move and uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that. So uh, that's the update I have for you guys. New York Jets, we've tried out a punter um, and I'll catch you guys again. Peace.